like show jumping and dressage. I like that. It's totally a sport. That's yeah. A, yeah. I mean, it's in the Olympics, for goodness sake. So, yes. I used to do those competitively. I like those sports. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, I'll have to actually go find a link now. This is terrible. Brad uh, and Luca, what are your phobias? Phobias? I yeah. am terrified of unstable heights, uh, which is bad because I work on ladders all the time, Ugh. and needles. Needles are oh, probably the that's phobia I have. I'm absolutely horrified at the ocean, pools, any kind of that, because I can't swim, and I'm like, terribly afraid of drowning. That's good. Yes. Don't like water. What kind of... Okay, Luca and Brad, what kind of kid were you in school? Oh. Um, I was a kid that didn't get good grades? Question mark? I don't know. I, didn't I was friends. really I quiet. Games. Yeah, I was really quiet and shy. I played video much. games and listened to progressive rock. Yeah, I that played a lot me. of video games. I was on the computer a lot. Yes. And when I say computer, I mean like an Apple IIe, okay? You guys get what Duh. I'm saying? Yeah. Old. Like before internet, even. I used to own an Apple II. I own an Apple IIe+. Plus. Oh, yeah. I actually have my Apple IIe still from my childhood. Nice. It still works. Uh, if you want to start watching LPs of mine, it depends what kind of stuff you like. Because uh, I have a mixture of like serious kind of LPs, and then there's goofy ones. Uh, so just look around. If you like goofy stuff, there's loads. You can start with like a Paper Mario or a Thousand Year Door. Uh, if you like uh, serious ones, you can try Journey. Or maybe suck it in if you like it. Luke and Brad, what are some of your favorite fast food places other than Taco Bell? There's no oh. fast food besides Taco Bell? Uh, right. Um, Wendy's, uh -huh. mainly because I live in Columbus and it's from here. I do like Wendy's too. Yeah. Wendy's is good. Wendy's is good stuff. Aw, oh, good night, Primba. What's my channel? I don't really want to plug it in here since it's John's stream and not mine. I plug mine because there's nothing really on there except for... The past three things that I uploaded were me uh, breaking, so bad. <laughs> me breaking old Genesis games. Yeah. Whoa, you're all right. Yep. Deep breaths. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, Khead, yes, you all do break everything. How do I acquire females? Uh, money. Yeah, money works. Pretend you have money. Um, that, that works for a few months. Uh, get money, get bitches? Isn't there a song about that? I, I don't know. Ask Fiddy. He knows. Fiddy knows everything. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Wendy's chicken nuggets are the shit. Seriously, they're the best. Oh, I man, they're amazing. Absolutely. When I was a kid, I was getting made fun of because I was, like, I was a kid that dipped the chicken nuggets in the frosting. Yeah, that's disgusting. I was that kid. Ugh. Gross. Oh, one of these wacky intros. Japan. <laughs> You're such a happy place. Happy fucked up place. Na 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 na. Yay. You can't be sad watching these things. No, Katamari is a happy game. 
So, so has anyone in the chat never heard of Katamari? I'd be Wincy. shocked, actually. Katamari is a pretty big series. It is. Um, but, I mean, people in the chat hadn't heard of a lot of games you've played recently, so... I guess that's true. We've played a lot of really obscure games from time to time. Yeah. Alright, what am I looking for here? I am looking for that. There we go. We're back on yeah. track. Oh, uh, thanks, Tenmar. I just don't feel comfortable doing it since it's John's stream. Oh, Tenmar's promoting you? Yeah, if someone asked what my YouTube was, but I didn't want to put it in there. No, Tenmar's, Tenmar's incredibly on the ball. I'm super glad I gave him the mod position. Tenmar's awesome. Thanks, Tenmar, for making us all look bad. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, I, to be fair, I'm distracted, so really it's everyone else. I'm kidding. <laughs> all right. All right, I got to change the game. It still says 50 Cent. <laughs> this is 50 Cent. What are you talking about? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's exactly, it's exactly, exactly like it. Man, you know what? A 50 Cent game like Katamari would be amazing. Oh, oh, my God. I couldn't even imagine. Uh, I wonder if I have... Oh, do I still have my save file on this? I wonder. He rolls up all the guns and weapons in it. <laughs> <laughs> they just start firing all the directions. And just throws it off a big-ass ramp. Yeah. Which is actually a little ramp. I last played this game in 2009. Well, that's a shame. You should play it more often. And January 3rd or March 1st. One of the two. I'm not sure. Last time I played this was with Donna Bells at PAX Prime. Oh my gosh, that was so long ago. Because it wasn't this past one. It was the last one before that. <laughs> Roll up your mini money. Get the bitches. Damn it. That was fun times. Rolling up hookers and guns. <laughs> Alright. Ah, there's the run button. Cool. What are my options here? We've got the online versus battle. This has versus battles? Co-op versus battle. Mm -hmm. Photo album. Save and load. The collection. Presents. Xbox Live Marketplace. Egg School! Well, we gotta go there. <laughs> yeah, that they have to. Learn the basic controls and make the moon! <gasps> make the moon. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, if you've never played Katamari before, this is gonna be your crash course in it. Also, this is the king of all cosmos. Dude's got like a 10 pack. because He's amazing. Yeah. He's also got a very large groin area in the first one. I'm not sure if it shows that in here. The first couple they do that, and then they kind of tone it down for the rest. Well, in really, the first couple were made by a couple of guys as a like off project for less than I think less than five hundred thousand dollars. Oh, people are finally hearing where and realize where the glitch counter sounds from now. It's from this series. <laughs> Egg School has a kind of poetry to it, yes? I love this God guy. bless the Egg School. You know, the kind that doesn't have punctuations. It's just full of strange and marvelous things, simply perfect for making a most mysterious moon. An egg is like the moon, our little leghorn. A perfect thing not meant to stay complete. God, I forgot how abstract this game can be. Okay, time to be off. See you later, alligator. God, I love how strange this game is. How many people said they had never played a Katamari game before? Or never heard of it? Uh, you had you had probably two or three dozen. Oh my god. Alright, here we go. So here's how Katamari works. Katamari 101. This ball that appears in front of the prince, that is the Katamari. It's astonishing, according to the King of All Cosmos. Sleek, tough, and machine washable. <laughs> Roll it, pick up stuff, grow bigger, repeat. If you do well, this camera will become a moon. Profound, yes. We have that effect on everyone. <laughs> okay. So, you basically... You control the prince walking around, and then you just push this Katamari ball around. And the idea is you have to use this to actually pick up items. So by doing this, getting it on top of this platform, now all these items have appeared. So now, because I'm bigger than these items, if I roll over them, I pick them up like a sticky ball. Katamari is basically just a video game about a sticky ball. So you keep doing this, and eventually the ball will just get bigger. While I wait for the, pr the king to stop talking to me. I'm 
Go. Anytime you see a big flash on screen, that means the ball's gotten bigger. And the more that you do this, the bigger the items you can pick up. So eventually we're going to be able to pick up the wall itself. But for now we're going to have to wait and just pick up more of these things first. So like Sticky Ball for the Gizmondo. Uh, yeah, but I'm pretty sure the Sticky Ball is probably based on Katamari. It would not surprise me. Um, no, I thought the Gizmondo came out after or before any of this. Yeah, that's lifespan was way before Katamari. Wait, when the Gizmondo come out? Um, while I look at the internet, I have a book right in front of me. So I thought the Gizmondo was after the PS2. Let's find out. Fiery and Productions just subscribed. Fiery and Productions, thank you for subscribing. Here's your egg. You will give me an egg! What kind of danger element is there in the game? Uh, it's a time-based game, so you have to do everything fast enough. Sometimes it gets a little hard, and, and sometimes you can only pick up certain things on a level. Depends. Yeah. Okay, yeah, the original Gizmondo came out in 2005. Uh, that's the same year the original Katamari came out. No, Katamari came out in 2004. What? Oh, never mind yeah. then. Alright, well then Katamari, yeah, so did, Katamari did come first. Yep. So right now I'm basically picking up pieces until I pick up my cousin. So, and I forget where the cousin actually is. He's supposed to be on a big ball or something. Yeah, the cousins can be hidden in a lot of the stages. Yeah, the, co the cousins are new playable characters, so I just picked them up. Marcy's rolled up. Uh, apparently my catamaran is as big as 50 angels. <laughs> I love the scaling uh, terminology here. Also, we get absorbed into the royal rainbow. Ugh! <laughs> right, up chucks. Oh wait, he doesn't do it in this one. Not in this one, that was in the first God two. God damn it. I know, it makes me sad. That's the best when it comes out of his mouth. Blech. Oh, for anyone who's curious, the plot to the first Katamari is amazing. Because the King of All Cosmo literally gets drunk one night and destroys the entire universe. Except for Earth. So his, his son, the prince, has to go to Earth and pick up everything with a Katamari to remake all the planets and stars. That is the plot of the first Katamari. The, it's amazing. Yeah. The plot of the second Katamari is that Earth was so enchanted by the first Katamari game that they had to make another one. So all you're doing is making Katamaris for the fans of Katamari. Just, the whole series is insane and I love it. I love how he said he was gonna we need to make the moon, but he's leaning against the moon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a little little fact. It's a little, it's a little weird. My Katamari is full of weird things, fantasies, and cousins. Oh, God. 664 objects collected. <laughs> Prince has a penchant for weird things. If I remember on the very first one, it's the part that captured me the most. When you go to select what save file you want to use, you only use like three. Yeah. You got to roll over to part of the Namco logo and roll over the Namco logo to start the game. Yeah. Which is, it's just fantastic. Here's an idea. You can do better. <laughs> Thanks, Dad! Yeah, he, like, never compliments you, even if you do good. And if you run out of time, I believe he usually shoots you with his eye lasers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He gets real mad. Also, the music in these games are amazing. That's so good. Uh, delightful dirigible. What stages do we even have unlocked here now? Uh, Sea Dome. Uh, that might have been it, actually. I think you just get the few at first. Oh, Sunrise Castle, Lady Luck Casino, and we've looped over. All right, I'm gonna go to Lady Luck Casino. Roll up expensive things to make Venus. Oh, apparently I've already beaten this one. <laughs> what stage have I not done then? It is me, Shiny. Hello. Ah, let's do the casino anyways. Ah, uh, crap, I can't remember what song's the best song to have. What's even on this list? I can't pick the songs. That's weird. Oh, right stick. Harvest of Love. Uh, I, I can't recognize half these songs. 
I was hoping to see Disco Prince on here, but I don't see it. That's a shame. The Sayonara, Rolling Star, Katamari Kyoko. I'll go with. I'll go with Katamari Kyoko. Couldn't stay away. Addicted to rolling, perhaps. Good night, AC fan. Thanks for being here. You need to collect lots of things to make Venus. If in, if in doubt, think shiny. Either that or money. We know such crude, frumpy parameters. But taste can't be taught instantaneously, no. Sometimes it's just plain impossible, as we know. But we have hope for you. Roll Lux. Let Venus shine. I'll do normal. Alright, so now this is going to be a proper Katamari round. So, there's going to be a time limit in the corner, and I have to reach a certain size goal before that time limit runs out. But once I reach the goal, I can just continue and do it uh, for as long as I want after that to get a higher score. And obviously, if I get a big enough score, or a big enough Katamari, he will actually compliment me, and it just looks more impressive. This is somebody's not... house. This is not a casino? What? Well, you know. Other countries are there's casinos in somebody's house. It has a glam vibe. It's totally simpatico with us. Okay, I've got to make a 60 centimeter Katamari in five minutes. And I'm currently starting at five centimeters. So roll up expensive stuff when you can. Yeah. Which is why I'm starting with thumbtacks. <laughs> you got to start small. Yep, thumbtacks and, and hair clips. There's poker chips, but I can't pick them up yet. But I can pick up silver coins, apparently. Oh, this is, the, this is the awesome song. Never mind, I made a good choice. What were we going to say, Brad? I was going to say, um, does this version also include the... Uh... I know the PS2 ones had a sort of, like, catalog of items you could pick up. Yep, that's the collection. That's the collection, okay. Just making sure this one still had it. I didn't think they'd remove it, but I know that, like, the PSP version did not have it. That was kind of a bummer. No, I think they've re-added it since that one. I think that was, like, the only one that missed out on it. Okay. Well, I found a spider. Also, the way that you roll onto things can dictate how your ball moves. If it's too lopsided, it'll actually be really hard to control. Everyone knows how hard it is to control lopsided balls. Yeah. <laughs> that, that, the chat or you? Because I was pretty fast for the chat. That uh, was me. Alright, I figured as much. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like there's no way they caught up that fast. <laughs> I'm half watching this, half editing a GIF really slowly. Um, and yeah, there's just... Inspiration? No, just Yeah, no. Totally. It's a GIF somebody made from Die Hard earlier. From Die? From the game, or...? Yeah. Nice. Uh, but I don't, I don't have a proper image editor. I can do, like, pixel art, and that's not it. So I'm editing this very, very slowly. Fair enough. And pay attention to all the awesome things you are picking up. I, I'm picking up a ton of mice. Also, apparently, once I reach 20 centimeters, I can go outside the door. Oh, well, that'll be good. I'm running out of time, though. I'm at two minutes. Yeah, but once you get to a certain size, it starts going really fast. True. In the last 10 seconds. Uh, I got trapped by a wind up funky bear. There are worse places to be trapped. True. I'm dreading the, the city stages. Come on, I'm almost at 20. I'm almost at 20. I believe in you. Got it. Okay. Should I go straight outside or should I build up the size first? Always build the size. I should get kicked around a whole bunch. Yeah, sure enough. But pick a good route. 
like where you can pick up stuff along the way, just going straight and not turning around a lot. Keep in mind, I don't quite remember this game that well. That's how you get it done fast, instead ah. of like going in circles. Apparently, this house actually was a casino. Oh, I, just, okay. I just found sets of bills, a roulette wheel, diamond rings Here's everywhere. The wrong area. Yeah. That was that was five minutes well spent. Uh, this is beautiful Katamari for those who aren't sure what ca which Katamari this is. All right, I'm gonna have to go outside. I've got less than a minute. I have a feeling I'm gonna barely do this. Under, under a minute, and I only just reached 30 centimeters. I might be in trouble. Uh, yeah, well. yeah, you were a little slow in the beginning. I'm be cutting this incredibly close. Actually, never mind, I got it. Nice. Yeah, hey, once you got outside, I picked up. Oh man, did it. <laughs> All the gold bars. Oh shit, not enough time to grab anything else! I got the 89 centimeters. Hey. Uh, my catamaran is as big as 177 cactuses. All right, I have a feeling, I don't think that actually beat my last record, oddly enough. Well, maybe not oddly enough. Alright, let's see here. Did you get a lot of expensive things? It's coated in gold bars, I hope so. <laughs> now, Venus is an expensive place, you know. No, 89 centimeters. I think that's worse than last time. But at least the first item is rich, followed by games and snacks. Hardly any expensive stuff. It's coated in gold bars! <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not hideous. Wish you tried harder. Now for a bonus bean count. Oh, only worth 43 points. Ouch. Is this on purpose, like, for a documentary? <laughs> Chat's like, fuck you, dad. <laughs> You're not my real dad. <laughs> He's very, very picky. Hmm, at least it doesn't take up much space. You're a party pooper. Learn to roll better. Wow. Ouch. Such a loving family. <laughs> I like see you roll better when dad. Yeah, economy's pretty rough in Katamari, apparently. What was my record on that previously? PMG PSW. Just subscribed. PMG PSW. Thank you for subscribing. Here's your egg. You will give me an egg. Yeah, my previous record was a was one meter thirteen centimeters and a score of eighty two. So I did a lot better last time. Mm -hmm. What stage do I have left to do then? Because I don't see. I, I don't you see. Must do better. Yeah, I'm wondering what stage to do next. Because it looks like the majority of the planets are here. Um, do you have the final stage unlocked? That's always a fun one to play. Like the unlimited one. Um. Well, the one right before where they make you, where they set you a huge, ridiculous limit. Um, oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, those are always fun. The unlimited one's like, hilarious. Oh, uh, do you actually have the unlimited one? That'd be great. I don't know. That's what I'm looking for. See what, see what stage I have next to do. I think you have to finish it to unlock it. Yeah. Uh, I found a treehouse, Cloud Nine Forest. Uh, I also changed characters by accident. That's okay. Uh, I've done this one apparently. Roll up plants to make Jupiter. My record score is six meters on this one. But it's a, it's a score of 35. 
Kikaya or uh, Kikaya. Kikaya, thank you for subscribing. Here's your egg. You will give me an egg. Uh, man, what stages do I not have done? Should I just start doing random stages as I come across them, maybe? Maybe. Like, it says I did 45% of the collection, so I've already done a decent amount of this game, then, in that case. Uh, roller, roller Roaster, that's the, oh, that's the stupid fire one, I hate that one. Uh, Shiny Circuit. Uh, done this one. Cool House. Ah, I have not done Cool House! Ah! Roll up cold things to make Pluto! Pluto's on a planet. Not anymore. Aww. Aww. Welcome to the cool house, where warm is a bad word. This is your chance to roll an absoluto Pluto. All you need are lots of cold, cold things. Like snow and ice and icebergs and fridges. We want a cold Pluto for when we need a cool off. A wet washcloth planet, a darkened room of a star. <laughs> Jesus. Maybe if you make Pluto big enough, we'll make it into a planet again. When was Pluto no longer a planet? Like two years uh, ago, right? Oh, yeah. that recent? I think it had to be longer than that. No, I don't know. It was, it was long enough ago that Jonathan Colton made a song about it. Hmm, fair enough. I think that was part of his his uh, 52 weeks. Or 52 well, that would have been at least three years then at that point. Oh, we're starting yeah. on Xbox 360s! Look at that. Aww. Oh, I'm back. I'm in the same mansion that I st played the the casino one in. All right, I have to get a one meter. B oh God, this is actually gonna be pushing it. One meter in three minutes. But I start at twenty centimeters. Goodbye, Xbox 360s. Oh wow. Um, I guess the official. Uh, ruling on Pluto was in 2006. And then they finally finished ruling on it in 2008. Oh, wow. So. Quite a while ago, then. Yeah. So this game came out, I think, in uh, 07, so. Maybe, maybe this was their cry for Pluto to come play again. I am rolling up Xbox 360 controllers. Yeah, this came out in late 07. Unless you're in Europe, in which case, 2008. Uh-oh, uh-oh, I'm stuck, I'm stuck, come on, come on. Oh, there we go, that'll help a lot. Come on, let's pick up those rabbits. I still can't pick up the rabbits, damn it. I don't know why they're giving me so many Xbox 360s to pick up. They're, they don't run cold, not even remotely. <laughs> it's, it's a troll item. Probably. There haven't been a lot of cold things in this, in this uh, level at all yet. No, there's a couple of desserts. I found some dinosaurs. Some snowmobiles when you get bigger. I found some mm. giant rabbits. Pancakes and honey. Crabs. I found giant dogs. Snow cones. Lots of shaped ice. Lots of sunglasses. Under a minute remaining. You can do it. Oh, yeah, once you get really big, there's a ton of snow you can rug and you're able to pick up. Alright, there we go. Hit the goal. Kind of fast for Prince. Let's pick up that giant army of Xboxes that was in that closet we started in. <laughs> Turn it all on and you can launch the planet itself. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there we go. Now we're getting we're picking up trees at this point. Now we're getting we're getting good here. 
So this place should be able to pick up just whole chunks of snow. If it lets you. I don't know how it renders snow in this particular game. I just picked up a couple dogs. 1.42 meters. 